Hey there guys, how's it going? Hope everybody is okay. Had a bit of an idea. I decided that since I stopped taking the pre gabalin tablet, I think I took the last one on the 14th, I can't remember if it was Monday or Tuesday, um, I would record, try and record each day or at least every other day, um, a short clip to just describe sort of how I'm feeling that day. Um, obviously I don't know if I would be feeling like that whether I was on the pre gabalin tablet or not, um, but I thought it'd be a bit of an interesting video to um, then after a couple of weeks join all the clips together or maybe do it as like a couple of videos if depending on how many clips are on how, how big the video is. Um, you know, just a short diary but the, the key is to keep the clip short so I know um, I tend not to do brief sorry about that but I'm gonna try my best okay so today's Sunday um, Friday and Saturday just gone I felt pretty different I didn't really feel tired and I felt more mentally alert and quite often not doing things like housework and jobs like that you know washing and stuff stuff that he's doing but jobs that you really don't want to do like um, perhaps administrative jobs filing uh, that kind of thing can't be bothered to do them well I've just spent an hour doing that um, sorting things out and I generally just feel like doing those sort of things now and getting it straight sort of thing you know uh, I can't describe it I've just more get up and go yesterday for example as well um, my wife and I um, we did the usual sort of um, jobs in town and um, we also go to Costa on a Saturday has that's a must but um, also um, I got back about dinner time and got back home about dinner time and I said should we go to Derby you know because I've um, got a few things to do in Derby and normally we would have just stayed home and because I wouldn't have felt like it I felt driving but so so you know that that's quite good I feel that's quite significant so that's Molly <laughs> she she has to get in on the videos doesn't she Okay, so today, that was Friday and Saturday, today I'm still feeling pretty good, um, apart from didn't sleep too great last night, had a lot of uh, backache in bed. I, I tend to have to go to bed sort of late-ish, 11, 12 o'clock at night, and get up early because I can't seem to lay in bed too long at the moment. Um, makes my back ache. It's me though, rather than the bed, and when my back aches and hurts it makes everything else worse as well. So um, so today I've had a bit of back, quite a bit of back ache, consequently my legs and feet have been pretty horrendous actually. Now, obviously being off the tablet, that would normally sort of calm those things down, but not by much in my opinion, not now anyway. So that's today not brilliant but not too bad either and um, I'll, I'll report back tomorrow I'm gonna go and see what Molly wants now no doubt she's hungry there we go for those of you that are uh, Molly fans and I have gathered quite a few over the recent videos Molly has got dementia Come on. Hang on. For you Molly fans out there, this is especially for you. Say hello then. Hey, eh? say hello. Cheers guys. Morning guys. Well, today is the morning of the 21st of November. It's absolutely horrible out there in the UK. Chucking it down with rain. Cold, windy, really nasty. Um, nothing really to report this morning I sort of woke up about half six with my alarm as usual 
and my feet, my ankles, my legs were all sort of sort of humming and buzzing like they normally do. I got out of bed, I can't walk hardly at all. I have to sort of hold onto the walls and the bed is, and sort of let my body warm up. But that's kind of, hello Molly. Molly likes to get in on the videos, as you know. Um, but that's kind of normal anyway for me. So um, whilst coming off, coming off this pre gabbling no, no significant effect today. Anyway, that's about it for today, guys. Bye bye for now. Hey guys, a bit of an update for you. It's still the 21st of November today, Monday morning, just gone 11 o'clock. And I just had to record the fact that I am feeling absolutely flipping brilliant. Normally, as a, as a rule, I mean, I've just been doing some jobs um, around the house, sort of houseworky type jobs. I dropped Mrs. Bradley off at work at 7.30 this morning, so I sort of try and try my best to keep the house running. Um, just been pottering around and normally I'd be feeling quite tired and lethargic and not much get up and go at all but this has been the general theme for the last three days I I just seem to have so much energy when I say energy I've got loads of physical energy obviously because the body's a bit knackered but um, mental energy uh, determination to do things and little jobs and stuff like that absolutely feeling brilliant um, in fact um, I'm going to mother's in a minute and I'm um, going to help going to help her with a problem with her printer being a bit you know techy so um, she's been harassing me <laughs> to sort it out so that's where I'm going in a minute but yeah feeling great cheers guys uh, speak to you soon actually I'm back literally a few seconds later I've just thought of something else I wanted to uh, include in this um, one of the things uh, as you will know that I have been suffering a lot from is this chest pain now I don't know if it's my imagination yet I don't know if it's too early to tell but it's not too bad um, I might have to start sort of writing down an average of a pain level and, and see if I can sort of a pain level threshold, see if I can sort of figure it out if it is getting any better. Because I can actually have several days of the chest pain being sort of okay. And then I can have a day where it's a real killer and it about wipes me out and then I feel all battered and bruised like I've been literally been hit with a baseball bat. Um, and that carries on through the next day. But like I say, not too bad just at the moment, so pretty pleased about that. Could it have been the pre-gabalin? I don't know, my theory is that you know, the pre-gabalin turns everything down, it like turns the lights down, so it, it, it calms the electricity in the brain, it makes everything very slightly slower, hence reducing nerve pain, but surely that stops things functioning as, as well. Do you know what I mean? It, it sort of you know, calms things down, stops things working as well. And that's why the pregabalin has an effect on my gait, uh, as in G-A-I-T, uh, walking, that kind of thing. It does. It really does. And I've not noticed so much back pain either. And I really am hoping this chest pain is going to sort of, you know, really try and get on top of it. Anyway, these clips are meant to be short. So I've got to shut up now. See you later. Bye. Morning guys. 22nd of November 2016. It's Tuesday morning. Today is actually um, seven days. I took my last pre gabalin tablet on the 14th, which was a Monday. So um, the 15th last week was Tuesday. It was the last day. Sorry, it was the first day uh, without a tablet. Feel absolutely fine. Um, as I said previously, um, been feeling great. Still feel mentally very alert, and I'm I'm damn sure that's due to not taking this tablet. Um, just taken um, my wife to work and just run a bit of an errand, and my legs are pretty bad in the car. Um, my ankle is my ankle is very stiff. My right ankle where I got foot drop um, a few years ago it's very stiff and it feels like um, 
my knees are being seriously squeezed from just above my knee, or well, both my legs actually, from just above my knee um, all the way down. I feel like they're being seriously squeezed, but I would be experiencing that anyway, whether I was on the pre gabalin tablet or not. So I'm not going to read too much into that. So really, apart from the um, the fact that uh, the lights have come back on um, mentally, um, and I'm feeling much more alert, no real physical sort of uh, withdrawal symptoms yet. But as I say, I'm only a week in, and and this drug has been in my system uh, about four and a half years. So I'm still expecting something um, because I think it will take more than a week to come out of my system. Anyway guys, um, hope everybody has a good day. The weather is absolutely rubbish here in the UK. Molly has just decided to gone out, go out even though it's raining. I tried to tell her it's not very nice but no, she still wants to go out. She has to learn the hard way. Typical. See you later. Bye. Morning guys, it's the 23rd of November 2016. Um, I'm here in the kitchen, have to do it in the kitchen because that's the room with the most light at the moment. The weather is so rubbish, dark, depressing, dismal. Ugh. Anyway, not a great deal to report today. Um, I woke up this morning with a pretty achy back and I don't know if there's any sort of correlation but when my back's bad my legs are pretty bad and to be honest I wake well in, in when I'm in bed at night my legs are absolutely killing me and sometimes I think oh it was a dream then later on in the day I realize it, it wasn't a dream it was real and they, they really are they really are bad at night at the moment <coughs> So, but, you know, it's hard to tell whether I'd be experiencing, well, I probably would be experiencing that anyway, but I would say this last couple of days, um, it's not, I get a lot of burning pain in my legs, but it's not burning, it's, it's the really severe discomfort, tightness, really sort of weakness in my legs and it, it's very disconcerting um, especially as it, it's pretty constant and doesn't get better. I do tend to forget about it during the day because it's just there all the time so you just tend to get used to it but in the morning when I wake up it's like first thing I think about oh god uh, horrible I'm going to leave my legs in bed today sort of thing you know, so um, not good really. Anyway, hopefully, touch wood, um, they will improve probably as the day goes out, as the day goes on. Um, I'm probably not going to record these every day now because there's, there's not really that much of a significant change. So I might just record one when when there's something significant to report. Um, otherwise, I'll I'll probably put this video together soon, uh, join all the clips together, and um, upload it. Uh, this may be the last one, actually. So, uh, well, I've enjoyed doing them anyway over the last few days. Right. Okay. Bye bye for now. Cheers, guys. Hey guys, it's um, 2:44 a.m on uh, the 24th of November 2016 I am in absolute phenomenal pain with my legs it's absolutely unbelievable I just can't stay in bed, I've had to get up it sort of started last night when I was about half ten, ten o'clock I was just watching TV and my legs start burning, my feet start burning this sometimes happens even when I was on the pre gabalin tablet it happens and um, it, it's so painful I, I can't even put my feet on the floor while sitting on the city I can't even 
rest my feet on the floor without them hurting so much I feel the need to raise my legs and lie down or something just because the weight of my legs on my feet on the floor hurts so much you know can't even sit properly it's just ridiculous so I sort of went to bed half 11 ish quarter past 11 and it's now well 2 46 a.m and my left leg the pain in it is just unbelievable I've got like a a dull throbbing pain in my left hip my leg is buzzing and humming and burning my feet are burning really bad and but touch my feet they're cold the skin feels cold and my other my right leg isn't quite so bad but my right leg is the weaker leg my left leg is the one I get most pain in <sighs> really really I'm tired but my body will just not let me sleep it will not and I'm I'm pretty fed up at the moment to be honest I've just come down for some um, painkillers to be honest and um, I find sometimes that just plain old paracetamol and codeine which is a medium to strong painkiller can, can sometimes help believe it or not uh, it also makes me tired and hopefully it might just be enough to allow me to drop off to sleep for just a few hours. I think I've only been asleep. Well, the couple of hours I have been in bed, I haven't slept very well at all. So, tonight's going to be fun, isn't it? Anyway, I thought I'd just record this bit of an update while I'm while I've just come downstairs. I actually considered, I actually considered staying up and not going to bed. If I lie on my back, my back starts to ache, which makes my legs worse. If I lie on my side, my chest hurts, and my legs seem to be worse. I just, I just cannot win tonight. It's just, I don't know if it's coming off the tablet. I don't know, but the, the pain is so bad. Um, you can only survive without so much sleep, can't you? Did I say that right? Forgive me. That's because I'm half asleep. Um, Sorry the, sorry the picture's dark and um, I'm probably talking a bit quietly, uh, so uh, um, right, I'm, I'm speaking all jumbled up so I better get going, see you later, bye. Just like to, uh, just like to say also that, uh, oh it's 2.55am um, on the 24th of November 2016, uh, just for the record, i uh, just like to also say that um, this is the side of MS that a lot of people don't see. Night time. For some reason for me, and I'm pretty sure it's um, the same for a lot of other people, is uh, the pain at night is phenomenal. It really is. It's almost like your body goes into a different mode, uh, you know, and and the pain is just ramped up to astronomical levels. I literally just cannot sleep because my legs are just buzzing and humming, my feet are doing the same. And now I've got this like throbbing pain in my left hip. Uh, so uh, obviously if the throbbing pain in my left hip is nerve pain, uh, the painkillers I've just taken isn't gonna touch it. And then that's when I uh, then start to consider, mm, should I be going back on the uh, nerve painkiller, the pre -gablin? But I really don't want to do this and I'm hoping it's just like a, a bit of a withdrawal or something like that because I'm doing pretty well so time will tell night guys I'm gonna try again um, I'm probably gonna be up again in an hour you know it's something like three four o'clock well about four o'clock and um, if I'm I'm just gonna stay up I'll, uh, I'll just go on the PC or do something. See you later. Hey guys, it's uh, the 24th of November 2016. Still, this is my uh, third clip today. Uh, the other two were at about um, 3 o'clock this morning. <laughs> it's actually uh, 10 past 11 at night, 11 10 pm. 
So we're nearer the 25th than the 24th, but um, I just wanted to record a short clip um, to let you know what happened when I did finally go back to bed last night. Um, uh, I couldn't go to sleep very well. Um, I think I saw about 4 o'clock in the morning. It took me about another 45 minutes, an hour, to get into a comfortable position and the painkillers to kick in and, and drop off. So I did manage to get to get sleep, but then, of course, um, we're, we're up at 6.30 again in the morning because I take my wife to work. So um, that's that. Uh, so last night's sleep was probably between three and a half and four hours. Anyway, today I sort of got my head down a bit on the settee, but um, uh, I fell asleep for about half an hour. But again, the pains in my legs, not good at all, brought me round, had to get up. Um, and that's how it's been pretty much all day, really bad pains in my legs and, and my back as well, extremely weak, very painful. I am walking around like a 95 year old. I'm seriously, I've just been hobbling around so slowly and wobbling and holding on to things and walking is just not happening uh, today. And driving the car as well, um, I just briefly nip into town, literally five minute journey and sort of five minute back and driving is, you know, sitting in that sort of when you you know when you when you sat in a car driving you just you just forced to sit in one position and can't really move you know it's always been a problem it's always been problematic for me that has you know um, and when I get out of the car god blimey my legs just don't do what I told them to do for about a minute or two you know it's crazy so Anyway, at this particular moment in time, which is 12 minutes past 11, I am sort of just sat on the settee relaxing, watching TV. Uh, Mrs Bradley's gone to bed. And I'm feeling a little bit anxious because I'm going to be going to bed soon. And I just know it's probably going to be a repeat performance of last night. I'm just going to be, you know, as soon as I'm in bed for a bit, then it'll all kick off, my legs will start hurting, my feet will start hurting. Well, I hope it doesn't, because actually, having said that, I'm not too bad at the moment, whereas last night at this time, I was, I was pretty bad. So, fingers crossed, uh, should be okay. Blimey, I think... Uh, when I do finally put all these uh, video clips together, it's going to probably be about half an hour. Um, those of you that uh, do watch my videos know that I don't do brief. Sorry about that. Um, hopefully, hopefully this will give um, a lot of you guys and a lot of other people some insight to uh, you know the the pain at night that somebody with MS has to put up with on a regular basis you know I realise these video clips are all about coming off pre-gabbling and I, I do actually feel that what I've been experiencing in the last sort of 24-48 hours is withdrawal off the drug and my body reacting um, because obviously I went on the drug because I was suffering these sort of symptoms in the very first place um, so Obviously, I'm, I'm going to be left with the symptoms that I had before I went on the drug. But also today, um, I've had a bit of a bad head. I've had a headache. And I don't really suffer from headaches. And I got up this morning, I'd got a headache. Now, it was either... could have been the... I, I actually did put it down to the glass of port I had last night. <laughs> um, but that tends to, I don't normally suffer from like things like that, hangover or anything, it doesn't normally affect me, but um, I've had a headache today, and it's been coming and going all day, and I've got it now, and from what I've read, you know, the uh, a lot of people coming off pregabalin or Larica have, have suffered headaches as a withdrawal symptom, I'm pretty damn sure I've read that, so... Uh, 
Anyway, um, I tend to go to bed late to try and minimise the amount of hours I spend in bed. Crazy that, isn't it? I know. But that's what I've had to start to doing because spending too much time in bed just isn't isn't good for me at the moment. Everything just starts to hurt. So I tend to spend five or six hours in bed on a good night. And um, I, I, t I do, I tend to catch up with sleep in the day. I'll nod on the settee or something like that. Or even now, actually, I'll quarter past 11, I'll, you know, um, probably have a bit of a snooze and then go up to bed. Right, guys. I really shouldn't be talking this much and this long. So, um, <laughs> if anybody's watching this late at night, I, I bid you good night. Cheers for now. Good morning guys, it's the 25th of November 2016 and it's a little after 8 o'clock, quarter past 8 in the morning. I just wanted to record the fact that I did in fact have quite a decent night's sleep last night and I didn't wake up until about 7 o'clock. Or should I say, I wasn't woke up until about 7 o'clock by guess who? Yes my ancient cat. So um, anyway, Mrs Bradley is off work today so we are heading into Nottingham to um, treat ourselves to something. Um, it's actually a free sat box um, so we're, we're actually going to ditch Sky after about 16 years but that's um, kind of irrelevant to this video. I'm just waffling, sorry about that. Um, Feeling pretty good today. No pain last night in bed. Um, legs and everything mm, a little bit unhappy, but overall behaved themselves. <coughs> um, and this morning, bit of backache. Walking isn't great, but I can cope like this. Uh, no headache. Um, so, so feeling quite good today. Uh, not bad. Um, I'm pretty sure this is going to be the last part of this. Uh, video, small, uh, small, Neil, you talk a lot, Neil, uh, long video compilation, and um, I'm looking forward to joining it all together and uploading it and sharing it with you guys soon. So I hope everybody's okay, hope you've enjoyed this um, this kind of video, uh, coming off pre-Gablin, Lyrica, vlog, whatever you want to call it, um, because I've really enjoyed doing it as well. Uh, I'll probably continue to do updates over the next few weeks um, because the pre uh certainly certainly isn't out of my system and I have no no doubt that I will be having further episodes of withdrawal and pain and things like that so I'll, I'll record it as I go along. It's Friday today, have a nice Friday, have a lovely weekend guys and I shall speak to you soon. Bye bye for now, take care.